welcome to my introduction to ecology class. In today's class, we'll be running through this outline, concept of ecology, terminologies in ecology, branches of ecology or area of specialization in ecology, importance of ecological studies, and finally, the history of ecology. Let's talk about the concept of ecology. The term ecology is gotten from the Greek word, ecos, meaning household or the home the place where an organism live, while logos means to study. Literally, ecology can be defined as a study of organism at home. Over time, ecology has evolved, and currently we can define ecology as the study of the interaction between living organisms and their environment. Ecology deals with the important connections between animals, plants, and their surroundings. Let's take a look at the ecology of this ecosystem. The plants, regarded as the producer, produces their own food through photosynthesis, while the animals, some of them, actually feed directly on plants and they are called herbivores. Other animals feed on the herbivores. There is constant interaction among the living organisms in this ecosystem. There is also interaction or relationship between the living organisms and their environment. For example, Animals taking oxygen from the atmosphere, they rely on the soil to stand. The plants actually rely on the nutrients in the soil to survive and grow. Animals also pass out waste, which enriches the soil. So there is a constant interaction among the living organisms or between the living organisms in this environment, as well as interaction between the living organisms and their environment. This concept formed what is termed ecology. Let's take a look at some of the terminologists or the common terms that we use in ecological studies. One, environment. Environment of this organism is the physical surrounding as well as the biological surrounding of the organism. Physical surrounding means the non-living things around. Why? Biological surrounding means other living organisms around this organism. Habitat is where the organisms actually inhabit or stay. Why population is a group of organisms of the same species that can interbreed in a particular geographical location or in a given area at a particular time. The role an organism play in its community or habitat is regarded as the niche. Why ecosystem comprise of living organisms, their physical environment, Interactions among the living organisms and as well as interaction among the living organisms and their environment at a particular place form what is called the ecosystem. The scientific study of the behavior of animals is regarded as ethology. Biosphere is the region of the earth which can sustain life or where life is found. It should be noted that biosphere is actually the largest ecosystem. The biosphere is divided into three parts, namely the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, as well as the lithosphere. Only a tiny portion of these three regions where life is found is regarded as the biosphere. The region of the biosphere, usually found between the Earth's surface and the outer space, usually filled with gas, is called the atmosphere. The solid crust of the Earth, such as the soil, the rocks and others is regarded as the lithosphere, while the part of the biosphere occupied by water, such as the, the oceans, sea, rivers, and even the water in the uh, atmosphere, as well as the soil, is regarded as the hydrosphere. Take note that there is also underground water as uh, part of the hydrosphere. A host is an organism that accommodates another organism of different species, providing benefits such as food, shelter, or other essential um, services to the other organism. Population is a group of organisms of the same species that can interbreed, inhabiting a particular geographical location at a particular time. A subdivision within a species adapted to a specific environmental condition is regarded as ecotype or ecospecies, while a variety of life on Earth at all levels, ranging from genes, various species, and all that is regarded as biodiversity. The total mass of living organisms in a given area is regarded as the biomass of, the, of that area. 
why the services provided by ecosystem is called ecosystem services. Phenology is the study of the timing and the cyclical pattern of biological events such as migration or even hibernation. Entire set of environmental conditions under which an animal actually survives and reproduces is called fundamental niche. However, after taking into account the presence and interaction of other animals, a set of environmental conditions a species actually survive and reproduce is called realized niche. Animals or plants that are found or exist only in one particular geographical region are said to be endemic to that particular region. Animal can be endemic to a large region or even a small island. Let's talk about the branches of ecology. Ecology is a large discipline that covers all living organisms on planet Earth. And the early scientists or ecologists actually divided the discipline into two, plant ecology and animal ecology. However, later this field was divided into horticology or species of ecology and syncology or community ecology. Horticology studies individual organisms, focusing on organisms' behavior organ physiology and adaptation of organisms to their environment. It is therefore called species ecology. While psychology, also called the community ecology, involves ecological studies at community level. It seeks to know the relationship between different species in a community and their interaction with their physical environment. Currently, ecology is divided into numerous branches or areas of specialization, which include terrestrial ecology, studying ecology on land. This can also be divided into forest ecology, grassland ecology, or even desert ecology. We also have the aquatic ecology as a branch of ecology, which is further divided into freshwater ecology, estuarine ecology, and the marine ecology. Other branches of ecology include microbial ecology, population ecology, system ecology, taxonomic ecology, evolutionary ecology, behavioral ecology, conservation ecology, applied ecology, global ecology, organismal ecology, gene ecology, paleoecology, zoo geography, phytogeography, statistical ecology, space ecology, insect ecology, molecular ecology, production ecology, radiation ecology, ecological energetics, pollution ecology, human ecology, and many other branches or area of specializations. Let's talk about the importance of ecological studies or importance of studying ecology. Ecological studies provide useful information on how our actions causes environmental pollution and ways of preventing such. Ecological studies also enable us to understand how environment affects organism and how the organism action also affects the environment. Ecological studies enables us to develop practices that actually improve environmental quality. This is what we call eco-friendliness. Ecology furnishes us with knowledge of the nature of places where organisms live together with the existing condition in such places. Ecology is useful in other fields like geography, geology, climatology, soil science, and agriculture. The knowledge of ecology can be very useful in improving the quality of certain aspects of the human environment. Knowledge of ecology helps man to appreciate biodiversity and hence avoid excessive exploitation of living organisms in the environment. This actually forms the basis of conservation. Ecological knowledge also helps us to understand resource allocation, which resources is actually necessary for the survival of different species in an ecosystem. This actually plays a critical role in maintaining biodiversity and ensuring proper environmental management. Let's talk about the history of ecology. Aristotle and Theophritus were actually considered the first ecologists. Theophritus described the interrelationship between animals and their environment in the 4th century. In 1804, Alexander von Robot reported numerous plant species. He tried to explain their geographical distribution. Alexander von Hobart is actually regarded by many scholars as the father of ecology. 
Ernst Haeckel coined the term ecology in 1866. Since then, ecology has been the study of the relationship among organisms and the relationship among organisms and the environment. In 1875, Edward Seuss first defined the term biosphere. Bios meaning life and fera meaning fair. Alfred Russel Wallace introduced the field of biogeography, which studied the geographic distribution of living organisms. Ecological study was greatly enhanced by the discovery of nitrogen cycle by Antonio Lavoisier and Theodore de Sosa. Nitrogen is considered as one of the major nutrients important for the survival of living organisms. The study of human ecology emerged in the 1920s. This discipline aimed to increase ecological science role in managing cities and residential places. In 1926, Vladimir, in his book, The Biosphere, redefined biosphere as the global ecological system integrating all living things, their relationship, their interactions among the elements of the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Otto Tansley, in 1935, coined the term ecosystem as the biological community of interacting organisms and their physical environment. In 1953, Eugene Odum and Howard Odum wrote the first ecology textbook, and ecology became a university course. A widespread concern about the state of the environment made ecology to gain public prominence in the 1960s. In 1970, James Lovelock introduced the term Gaia or the idea that the whole Earth is one living entity and we ensure its survival even if humans destroy themselves. In 1971, UNESCO launched the research program Man and Biosphere with the aim or goal of increasing the awareness of humans about their relationship with nature. This is the end to the class, Introduction to Ecology. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.